these goons at this auto shop. There's this rusty old 2000 Honda Civic, the exact same car that I was driving for three years until the engine literally started smoking and you couldn't use the AC. If it had just been fixed up right, I would have bought it. I would have copped it 100%, just as like a temp car. What happens, I open the doors and of course the fucking windows are both dislocated. And I'm like, bro, you're not even trying to sell this thing. It's been sitting there ever since I got here for like, at literally, at, which is like a year now, and it's got 380 on it. Bro, I think they should just give it to me, honestly. That's such a piece of shit. This motherfucker has the balls to say for sale. I'm like, bro, you better give me this fucking piece of shit car. There's no deal there. It's one, the exact same car, back in 26, 2017, I think, I paid 900 for it. That thing fucking whipped until it started sucking shit and it was so loud that I'm like, you know what, man, it's not worth it. I'ma just fucking get a loan and not pay it for as long as I can. Car loan industry's collapsing. It's a fucking joke. Greed has gotten out of control. The workforce has no dignity because they're hiring fucking 12 year olds now who don't even speak English. If you're working for one of these corporations at this point, you're getting played. You're getting played so fucking hard. People will call me insane for speaking out about this shit and just telling the truth. I wanna tell my jokes and be out. You gotta live your dream, man. Otherwise, you ain't living. It's like, I speak on this shit from experience. That's the only, I have no formal education. I'm broke as a joke, as a joke, <laughs> actually. But I can honestly say this, I love my life and I enjoy it. And uh, I got people on my side, so powerful people. These are real industry players. We ain't playing no small town games, man. I'm in, I may be in a small town, but we ain't playing no small town games. You know what I'm saying?